If you missed information on any of today's guests, make sure you head over to our website at wnyliving.tv to find out more about all the segments on today's show. You'll also find archives of past shows and clients. It's all on the web at wnyliving.tv. Now let's head back to the Western New York Living Studio. And welcome back to Western New York Living. I'm sure most of you have heard the old saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Now, it's probably not bad advice, but knowing the signs and symptoms of medical problems is probably a better way to keep yourself healthy when you uh, meet with a physician. And join us this morning as we help bring awareness to Colon Cancer Awareness Month is Dr. Jessica Martinolich from Je General Physician PC. Doctor, thanks for being here. And let's first talk about what colon cancer actually is and what causes it. Great, well, thank you so much for having me. Uh, colon cancer is a malignancy or an abnormality within the colon or rectum that began as a small polyp and over time has uh, developed into a tumor of abnormal cells that uh, ultimately it might be able to spread to other locations of the body. And, and what are some common signs and symptoms that people should be aware of for colon cancer? Great question. Um, so. Uh, sometimes it can come without any signs or symptoms, which is why, and what we'll talk about later, why screening um, in advance is so important. But the symptoms that might arise are primarily uh, bleeding from the anus or rectum, um, abdominal pain or discomfort that's developed over time, or changes in your bowel habits. So um, issues with constipation or diarrhea that may not have been present previously. And you know, the last thing that's very important is any family history of these malignancies, colon or rectal cancer, uh, certainly puts people at increased risk. Now, people might wonder how common colon cancer is, and uh, so how common is it, and is it prevalent among certain groups? It is, it's, it's unfortunately very common. Um, uh, around 70,000 people will, we anticipate will be diagnosed this coming year with colon and rectal cancer, I'm sorry, um, men and women. Um, slightly more prevalent in men, although nearly just as prevalent in women. Um, and we have uh, found that there is a slightly increased risk in the African-American population. And screening, you mentioned screening, so important. Uh, who should get screened for colon cancer? And perhaps more importantly, when should they begin screening? Yeah, well, um, everyone should get screened for colon cancer. Um, as I mentioned, it's not uh, particular to any one group, although we do know that some people are at slightly higher risk. Um, this past year, New York State in, broadened the um, insurance coverage and recommendations for colon cancer screening. And uh, the majority of medical societies recommend screening at age 45 for all individuals, men, women of any ethnicity. Um, and then uh, that screening would be with either a colonoscopy or some sort of stool study, uh, which we can talk about further. And that age will change based on the patient's um, other underlying medical problems or family history of cancer. You know, everybody uh, talks about the prep with the colon. It's a necessary thing to do, but after that, everybody says the colonoscopy was kind of easy, um, right? I mean, that's, that's typical? That is very, that's very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> the colonoscopy part itself is nice. You know, you get some anesthesia. You are ideally um, in what we call a twilight anesthesia, where your um, your pain is controlled. You're not aware that that the procedure is going on. Um, but you're right. The the prep is what's really the most difficult and bothersome for patients, and it involves um, essentially taking high dose laxatives so as to clear out the intestine, which sounds terrible. And I completely understand that. But at the same time, it's very important because the purpose of the procedure is to find polyps or abnormalities within the colon before they become a cancer. And in order to see those little abnormalities, we need a very clean colon, which is best achieved by doing a good prep. And that early detection is key to uh, survival and success rates, correct? Exactly. All right, doctor, thanks so much for joining us. We'll tell everybody uh, some more information uh, about uh, getting screened for cancer. Dr. Jessica Martin Olich is part of the dedicated surgical specialist treating cancers at General Physician PC. Her focus is on colorectal surgery. To find out more about colon cancer and to even schedule a colonoscopy, head over to the website at gppconline.com. You can also give the office a call at 636-9004. 
to speak to their staff and schedule an appointment that early screening so important. Now coming up next, if your cooking space at home needs a little updating, Artisan Kitchens and Baths can certainly help. We'll be joining them at one of their recent remodels when we continue. This segment of Western New York Living was sponsored by the following.